Hi chat, welcome to another stream. How are we all doing today? It is Saturday, the 16th of September of 2023, and we are back for yet another stream. I don't really have too much of a plan today. Uh, I know that there's some chatbot stuff that I wanted to do uh, to clean up the YouTube API key stuff. Uh, we might work on Pi Upgrade. I had a kind of big feature that I want to do. Um, what? Where? Bye. Okay. Um, and I've also been working on a script for Scarlet and Violet, so we might take a look at that. Uh, it kind of works right now, but it's sort of shit, and I think I can make it significantly better with a little bit of work. Um, well, yeah, that's the plan for today. Uh, let's say hi to everyone who's here, and then we'll jump into things. Nikita was first today. Hello, hello. Good to see you again. Bellloth well, is also here, who says bunny. Did you find your bunny? Your bunny? Did you find the last one? The secret bunny? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. When are you going to fork over those sweet, sweet gotcha dollars to roll for your bunny waifus? <laughs> Starfish, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Walker Code says, out for a bike ride. Saw the notification. Want to say hello, hello. Good to see you. Have fun on your bike ride. X has resubbed at eight months. Oh, that was a, a voice, a voice, voice there for something. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you for the in eight months. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for your continued support. Uh, JJMC is also here. Hello, hello. Mario Cesar. This says super. Welcome, welcome. Steve Obandito is here, as is Easy Light. Are you going to go on a bike ride? Do it. Do it. Uh, how you doing? Good to see you all again. X is also here. Yeah, I just said hi to X. I'll say hi again. Um, yeah. So the first thing that I want to do today is, uh, the YouTube playlist search, um, currently loads up the Google APIs and I can just avoid the Google APIs because we did this thing for the dick sword bot, uh, where, 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 where we, um, Compile the playlist to uh, old JSON. Old JSON here. Uh, and so we can do the same thing in our chatbot. However, I did notice one little problem. One little problem with the Dixord bot, which is that if you do like explains uh, 333, for instance, we'll get no videos found here. But if we go over to our Twitch chat and do explain 333, We'll get video 333. Uh, and that's because the JSON is the uh, the shortened titles as opposed to the full titles. Um, so I think we'll I think we'll uh, clean this up a little bit first. So let's start with that. Get that working. Uh, to the Twitch no, it's in explains. Which means I don't have it here. Mm, open up over here so that we can see the code. Alright, so there's this bin playlist de Jason. Um which has this uh fix up title. <coughs> and I think we can, I think I still want to get rid of this bit here. Uh, and probably this bit here. But we can leave the rest of the title alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Limon says, hey guys, started integrating my part of my code, and in general, it seems useful. Of course, you think about more, a bit more about what you're doing. I think there are nuances that come. Maybe someone could share after a while. Was it worth it? I think my pie is absolutely worth it. Why did the bot, why did the bot reply to that? 
Uh. Oh, cause <laughs> this is this is why the bot replied to that. <laughs> cause the words "What are you doing?" is in the middle of this. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, saying my pie is absolutely worth it. Um, and the larger the code base, the more worth it is. Um, but it is a huge investment if you're starting from nothing. Which is what I'm currently approaching at work. Okay. If S ends with dash dash, what is the first video in that playlist? Uh, does it say Anthony Explains zero zero? Is that what it is? Meta? Where is this? Oh, trip trip zero. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to get the rid of trailer. Sorry. Do 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 get rid of this. Um Yeah. What does this do? Oh, this also does the same work. I wonder if we could combine the two of these. Hmm. MOTD is set to potato. Hayden's also here. Hello, hello. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, like I wonder if I can just do the playlist update. Let's see. How does this thing work? <laughs> <coughs> Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying. What? Hello? Fixer Jake, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Yeah, I think if I... I think if I do... This first... Strange Sorcerer, thank you for the resub at 17 months. You could have a preemie baby. <laughs> I was a preemie baby. I was a month early. Just raring to go. Uh, thank you for your continued support. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Uh... Yeah, so if I do this first. Oh, y'all. Uh, yeah, if we do this first in the GitHub pages directory, then I should be able to uh, parse on al argument uh, input JSON and then. Uh, And then do 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 do. We can get rid of this, and we can get rid of all of this. Nikita, you are close to your first Twitch baby. Thank you for the resub with Prime at eight months. Good to see you again. Appreciate it. Songfish says, "Is it possible to get Pragunta that quickly after having a baby?" Um. There's a term for this, but I'm pretty sure it is not PC. Uh, what are they called? I don't, I mean, what is it called? Uh. uh. <laughs> Well, it's against white people, so it's fine, right? Uh, 
<laughs> the, the term is called Irish twins. <laughs> anyway. What? What? Uh, do, 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 do. Video for video and videos. Video. Uh, 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 u
Uh, uh, what repo was it? This one? Let's see. Uh, I upgraded my dependencies and I was like, wait, why do I have typing extensions? But I'm on really new Python. And then we traced through it and found it. It's from pre-commit depends on virtual M depends on Vyloc depends on typing extensions. So it's not a file, it's a file handler, so it should be FH. I don't like FH, something about it feels weird. But yeah. Press F to read title, yeah. Cat Peasant has resubbed at 28 months. Good to see you again. What is that new emote? Happy C53 Mad Cat. Welcome, welcome. Pandox is also here. Hello, hello. K and V are always key in value. Yeah, yeah. Three whole years, that's true. F stands for frick. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Pandox? Good to see you again. The whole says, you're doing great. Uh, did some eight SATA SSDs versus a single NVMe SSD benchmarking. Uh, did the NVMe win? Got some interesting results. Got some new hardware on the way. Always nice to tinker with more hardware. Yeah. Pip Uh, I, I wrote my own shitty version of it. Called Visualize Requirements. Um, oh, I should have done the minimal file. It looks better with the minimal file. Where did this come from? Bloop. But yeah, it's essentially pipped up tree, but um, probably before pipped up tree existed. <laughs> P is fap file pointer. Yeah, anything that was way quicker. Uh, eight SATA SSDs and four way mirror is not as fast as expected. Yeah, NVMe is good shit. It's too good. Uh, uh, videos not okay. Cool. Playlist for playlist and blah 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 blah. Okay, we got the playlist. Uh, we need to get the the video. Uh, playlist videos zero. What do you look like? Like so. Oh, very, very easy, very simple. Uh, <laughs> stripe those SATA SSDs. Who needs redundancy? Hmm. Hassan, hello, love. How you doing? Uh, we don't need to do this. Get rid of that. Playlist link. Uh, that's in here, right? Playlist ID. Yeah. Oh, we actually have that right here. Playlist ID equals playlist, playlist ID. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. This we actually know the structure of, so it could make a type dict. But I think I'm fine, I'll just do this. It's actually dict stir stir. It's also nice. Uh, been a while since you moved. How's live on the East Coast, not missing the West? Sort of the East Coast. Michigan is kind of uh, in, the, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but it's nice. I don't ever want to move back to California. <laughs> I'm I'm very happy, except for that I can't drive my car right now because there there there's some road construction that makes it so I can't do it. But other than that, it's it's great. One of my conclusions is that 4K random IOPS is just strange. Hmm. Who needs to random copy big file and see transfer go burnt? Yeah. Difficult to benchmark. Yeah. 
And Doxy says, I'm good, ready to pre-commit and chill with the homies in the chat after a long week of work. Hey, there you go. My week was fine. I have this project at work that I really don't want to do. So I keep doing other projects that I feel are more impactful. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Um... I don't know that that's the best best uh, approach, though. Um, this should be video URL. And actually, we can probably just do escape video title. Yeah. Any uh playlist videos zero and then playlist videos one colon okay so it should work now get rid of our break a point ah oh, yes it definitely works what happened? Oh, I dropped a print say, on the ground somewhere. Try that again. No diff. Nice. Arcane Mechanista, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to move there when I was young. I wanted to be a cool programmer in SFO, but now I can't fathom being crazy enough to move there. Yeah. You know, upgrade to a flying car? Yeah. <laughs> That's your opinion on Mojo? Uh, I think it's vaporware and won't ever exist because they're promising things that are impossible. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. I just, I just don't think it's possible. Uh, do, 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 do. do you have an opinion on API versioning in case of public versus in company? Uh, yeah, version everything. You're going to want it at some point. Uh, there are always projects tasks that are just difficult and almost add nothing of value, especially when you know the feature will not be used. Yeah, I'm also a little concerned about this thing at work being not used. Um, it promises to do a lot, but I feel like it's... I feel like it's an interesting thing, but I just don't have any interest in working on it. I keep trying to get like a new hire or something to do it for me. <laughs> but... Anyway, okay, so this should, um, this is actually gonna change the uh, output to have the numbers on the end, which, let's see what it looks like, what it would look like on here. Hello? Oh, I was wrong branch. So I just put the numbers on the end of here. Which is a little redundant with this here. But maybe that's better because um, I can't copy and paste these. Maybe I get rid of the bullet. Maybe I get rid of it being bullet points. Because it is a little bit annoying that I can't copy the video number from this. Um, if Python wouldn't be a thing, what language would it be using the most? Probably C sharp. Yeah, probably C sharp. Although I think I might start writing a bunch of roost. Just because it seems not that bad. Um, like you can write uh, essentially Python looking code. But um, your approach to versioning, only PI version or each endpoint? 
So if you do your whole API, you're just going to be constantly bumping the version for no reason. Well, I usually do endpoint based ones, but I also don't write that many APIs. But yeah, versions are mostly free, so take advantage of them. But um Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the bullet points. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's um Let's not change the format of this. Generate readme from playlist JSON. Oh, uh, there's tests. <laughs> and I run them with pre commit. <laughs> uh, um, 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 um. Yeah. Tests assertion error. <laughs> Wait, that's really funny. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Pregment detects the like the the output there. Well, we passed one of the tests now. Kind of funny. Uh, Gabernet says, by the way, thank you for the test pollution tool. I used it a few times last year and it was a lifesaver every time. I've been using it a lot the last couple of weeks because um, I've been reshuffling our test suite to make it more efficient. Uh, and that makes tests run in a different order. And so there's I've been finding all sorts of bugs. I actually found the weirdest test pollution I have ever found, uh, where 700 tests were polluting and causing a single test failure. Um, the TLDR of it ended up being that uh, when about 700 tests would run, Postgres would repack a table and a non-deterministic non query would produce a different result. Um, but it was, it was very tricky to track down, but eventually I figured it out. Even versioning is basically as the commit hash is already better than nothing. Commit hash versioning would be a pain in the butt because you don't have a good visualization about whether it goes forward or backward. Uh, Easy Light says, we did whole API work. I don't like it that much because if I need a new version of an endpoint, you have to v2, v3, v4, v5 really fast. Yeah. But then again, if you're going to version like a library, it works kind of the same way. You would just version the whole thing as one chunk. Um, but, yeah. All right, so this should be a no-op. This should be a big old no-op in theory. Let's see if it runs. Oh, it didn't run the actions at all. Did I fuck up the YAML? Does it only run on... Oh, it only runs on Workflow Dispatch and Gron. <laughs> okay, well. Then we will run it. Um, Where's the little button? Weird. Uh, 
fair, even if you did not version the endpoint, you can still make it work by using a new endpoint name or simply a new subdomain. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> something, something new. Do you still use GitLab? I'm free. I'm free from GitLab for now. I don't use it at all. Although, I'm going to eventually add GitLab support to Frequency I and so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to use it for that. <laughs> but right now, I, I... I have washed my hands of GitLab. Um... Oh, this is, that was fast. Seven seconds to run a workflow? Zoom in. Um, so it clearly did not push. And that didn't push either. Okay, so that was a big fancy no op. Okay, cool. So now... if we do this you're stuck with bitbucket better than sourceforge oh god there's some projects on sourceforge that i just i don't like i don't like that i have to deal with them bandoxer says does Sentry use a linear history in the repos and do you guys use stack disk so what's your stance on those workflows um yeah we squash all the commits and i kind of hate it um there's no official support for stack diffs, but some people will use some special tools that do that. Uh, and most of the time, they fuck up and email the entire company. Um, and it has not been annoying enough to write a replacement for GitHub's code owner's stuff. So, we haven't done anything there yet. Um, I usually do stack diffs with um a big branch that is a uh draft pr and then cherry pick out things from it which works fine for me i don't really need any special tooling for that because i can run get cherry pick just fine i'm good at using get rebase um i don't know works fine for me mg.dev says have you had any chance to play around with sub interpreters at all uh, I helped uh, Grim work, do some subinterpreter stuff, but I don't feel like it's actually that useful. Um, but I was trying to see if I could spin up a bunch of threads and see and give them each their own subinterpreter running into issues. Uh, it should work, but the biggest problem is like you're not going to be able to share data between them because they are meant to be their own isolated interpreters. Wondering if you had any pointers? Well, you're using C, so you got quite a few already. <laughs> Beldathus has redeemed a code review. Oh boy. NRS says I have no ISS6. What the fuck does that mean? Um, Picture Jake says at work, we're moving to an in-house build DevOps platform thing. It's going to be a wreck. Oh, they almost always are. Are we reviewing today, Belnathus? Is it just bunnies? Uh, just had an idea. We'll be implementing it for this weekend. Oh, next week. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, okay, so... Because these are going to have the number on them now, I don't want the bulleted list. Do I, oh, I guess I could just change it to a non-bulleted list. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. Uh, Caddis Jack, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. It means that committed incomplete code. Bunnies will be involved in some way, yeah. Mustak is here. Hello, hello. Good to see you again. We're tired of running GitLab, apparently, which is fair, because, boy, it kind of sucks. We have so much automation built off pipelines, they just time out without being ready, like, 20% of the time. Yeah. Mustak says, how's your health? I'm feeling better. Still kind of coughing a little bit, but... Yeah. If you're just trying to run atomic jobs in parallel, like HP server not sharing state between threads shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it should 
should be fine. Uh, that's basically the usage that uh, Grim was looking into, but it was for Pigeon stuff. Because Pigeon supports plugins and plugins in Python, and so you want it to run plugins in their own subinterpreters. I wonder if he ever got it working. I was mostly just helping him with the C parts. But he knows C way better than I do, so I don't know how much help I was. <laughs> Or I don't know if he knows C better than me. He works in it way more often than I do. Because C's relatively simple. And... Who was I working with? Grim. Uh, they, they stream. They work on Pigeon. Okay. Uh, include video number in title. And remove list. Uh, I'll just say that. We will just say that. And oh boy, why did this move? <laughs> I should maybe have written a test for. Uh, this little funny function, but yeah, drugs. Drugs. Okay, so this should generate a big diff. Oh, I should have tried it out. Well, can't really try it out because I don't have the creds. Fuck it, we'll do it live. I should update this link too. If I just do this, does it get me the right place? It does. Is that a link? Just fix that link. I'm just going to do it here, though. Oh, wait. No, I got to do it here. Right. I got to do it here because uh, the code is self modifying. Right. Kegsit is here, as is Metalstorm. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome back. Tanker says, what do you think about Snap? <laughs> I'll show you what I think about Snap. Uh, snap. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Snap D. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Fuck Snap. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass. Does entry you squash merge don't require fast forward? Correct, yeah, because if we required fast forward, people would have to rebase all the time, which is a big fucking pain in the ass. Oh, you pressed enter too quickly. Oh, it's okay. Enter it's all good. Texas says, doing great, just a bit sick, but at least it's not COVID. Yeah, that was me the last couple weeks. I don't think anyone actually likes Snap. But Ubuntu really likes pushing it. There's technically a pre-commit snap. I tried to delete it because uh, I never got around to updating it or maintaining it. And I was like, well, I'm never going to use it. I don't recommend anyone else using it, so. Boop. Uh, Sounds has you a bunch of videos of about acing an interview. I want to submit a proposal to do a video for the interviewer. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could talk about my strategy for interviewing. Um, be, being the interviewer. Are oh, you bringing me tea? Tea for me? Yeah. Your little me? Yeah. Thanos like snaps. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's true. Yeah. Chaz, hello, hello. How you doing? My mom got a new computer a few months ago. I immediately removed Snap. Yeah, but I have to do like weird gymnastics to install Firefox. Because they switched the official distribution of Firefox to Snap. Uh, which is a little bit annoying, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God. 
I doing? Go back. Did I run the thing? No. I got distracted. Did I merge the thing? Yeah. Uh, let us run. Switch to Debian? Yeah. Yeah. Lazy Mint, no snaps. Yeah. Apt silently and stunk snaps is evil as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm holding out hope that eventually Canonical will be like, yeah, snaps was a mistake, and then kill it. Kind of like they did with fucking, what was it called? They made a shitty init system and then tried to push that for too long. What was that thing called? Upstart? Is it called Upstart? Uh, upstart, uh, in it. Yeah. Wallump, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah. It was, uh... Man, I remember, I remember this shit. They pushed this stuff so hard, and then everyone was like, no, System D. And then everyone's like, System D sucks, and it's like, yeah, but at least it's not upstart. Wait, Debian? Debian? Also used upstart? Oh, and it's still used in Chrome OS? I don't think that's true anymore. There's no way that's still true. Yeah, it's from fucking 2014. There's no way that's still true. Oh, Fedora used Upstart for a while? Very weird. Anyway. System D has uh, dominated that space. Wallam says, hello, I want to study computer science next year. What advice would you give me? Build projects. Uh, I don't know. Have fun. <laughs> you can start now. You don't have to wait until next year. The only unique thing they did was Unity. Oh, Unity. Unity. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Yeah. Sean the Sheep Bamu says, Annie, let's give up our dreams and politicians. What? I'll give you advice. Run to the border. Don't look back. It's pretty far away. But I don't know. Canada is kind of nice. Um. Wow, Chrome OS still uses Upstart. Wild. CS is one of the degrees we're getting. The degree isn't enough to be prepared. Yeah, that's pretty true. Okay, so this should have completely rewritten the ReamD. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Introducing! Um, yeah, because I just blindly replaced the text. Anthony explains. <laughs> uh... Okay. Well, I gotta fix this video. <laughs> Do I like this better than the numbered list? Oh, I kind of like the numbered list better. I kind of like the numbered list better. Is there a section on wearables? There is. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yeah, assign versus shallow versus deep copy. Strange Other says maybe the numbers in the start. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to the numbered list. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the numbered list. Yeah, so we got we got two things to do. Uh, 
<clears throat> That's still an unordered list. Yeah, but then it would have a bullet and a number, which I think is the whole reason that it looks stupid right now. Could you not just number it yourself so you can copy the number? Maybe. The problem with Markdown, though, is you would need an extra new line, maybe. Travs, hello, hello. Who up open sourcing their Python programming? <laughs> it's me. How you doing? Good to see you again. Zebra says, I can't believe I'm thinking about defending devs, the filthy animals. Hmm. So number list saves you the trouble of updating the code to zfill4 when you reach the thousandth. Oh, I'm going to have to do that already because it's in the actual titles. But it used to be a numbered list, so we would just be going back to a numbered list. Uh... Clean the house? Going to be lurking? Sounds good, sounds good. You LARP as a dev, Zebrow? Well, I won't tell. Okay, so... What do we got to do for that? Well, we got to do two things. We got to fix the, the video zero. So let's do that first. Uh, intro video title. Okay. So. Uh okay I guess I guess we'll write test for this. <laughs> Playlist JSON tests and there's some trick that I have here. God <laughs> I copied the title of Babby. Oops. <laughs> Um, playlist JSON. Okay, what is the very first video's title? Um, playlists. The oh, fuck? Where's my explains playlist? Oh, it's way down here. No, that's not what I want. No, stop it. Okay. Why can I not? There we go. There we go. What? I'll just. What? What is this? What 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 is going on here? It's also selecting text in like a weird way. Oh my god. I'm having trouble computer today. Ugh, oh, boy. There we go. Sweaty B, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Will M's also here. How you doing? I guess I can still hashtag tools for the socials for street cred. Mm. Chat says, anything I need a couch. Oh boy. I waited like five, six months for mine. Four, four to six months for mine. I don't even remember. A long time. Sure, we'll click on this video. No. What what is it doing? Stop. Oh, I see what's happening. It loads, then it changes where the buttons are, and my click when the buttons were in a different spot registers as the click right here. 
Normal explains episode. And then we gotta get a stream FAQ one. When you said stop it, you remind me of stand up comedy by Bill Burr about no means no. Hmm. What? Chaz says what? Yeah, couches take a long time to exist. Yeah. It's so hard to get the text of this. Dream mm -hmm. FAQ uh, beginning. Then uh, we also have somewhere I put it at the end. Like this one. Good code changed like a ghost. <laughs> Test. What did I call the thing? Test fix up title. Expect this. Expected assert mod dot fix up title s equals expected. Indeed. All right, introducing. <laughs> Uh, the one I want is like 3.5k and there's no way I can do that. That is... More than I paid for all three of my couches <laughs> combined. Twitty says the keyboard is just what I need. Well, if you want to learn about my keyboard, here's my review of it and all the other information there. He says, back to my MVC async HTMX backend written in obscure language that is totally not Python on this beautifully rainy day. Happy to see you, Mr. Wright's code. There you go. <laughs> Kiki says, TL about, TIL about the word ear yesterday. I don't think anyone uses that word anymore. Uh, archaic, the day before yesterday. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone says that anymore. Seems, seems fake. Seems, seems not real. Seems not a thing. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I just got the Kinesis 2 this week. Oh, cool. Look at this couch, though. Oh, uh, Crate and Barrel. Yeah, that's the first problem. That shit's expensive. Actually, I, this was one of the ones I was considering before I went with the couch that I went with. It is a nice couch. I was going to get it in the other color, though. Where's their like color choices? They have this in like dark, in dark mode, but yeah, nice couch. Okay, how do I fix it? What is the best way to fix this? I want like an R replace, but I know it doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> red X's. Explains dot sub. Uh, 
Oh, we can be better about this, though. Can I do a variable look ahead? All stream ears is your piping. Rude. Your keyboard warrior. You're angry because someone is wrong on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you have to really slam a jam at it. Oh, yeah. Did you make, did you, oh, you made it real hot. Did you make it extra hot? I It's slurpable. Kawi Life, hello, hello, how you doing? Uh, da, 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 da. I was going to get it in darker. Anyway, ah. Is there a way to delete a word in Batty? <laughs> uh, like if you're here, anyone delete a word? There isn't a single keyboard shortcut, but you can do this followed by this. Control shift arrow and then control K. <laughs> but no, there isn't like a control H or whatever. It's control H. No, that's just backspace. Uh, what is it? I don't know. There's some keyboard shortcut. But I, don't I don't know what it is. Oh, this has to be in here. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. I can use look ahead, which makes this simpler. Cool. Alt backspace. Yeah. Alt backspace. I guess alt backspace could be a thing. Because there's no way I'm going to accidentally type that. So if you want to add that, you can do it. The problem is going to be... This is probably going to crash, actually, now that I think about it. Oh. Interesting. X1B263, unknown. But these all work. Why doesn't this give the same result? Oh, yeah. Because we're just getting an integer here. I don't know. If you can figure out, you can you can add alt backspace. <clears throat> Curses moment. <laughs> this is me translating the escape sequence because I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure Curses has no idea what's going on. Um, but you can probably just adjust the 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 translating code to just un understand alt backspace is meta backspace. But yeah, I don't think it's handled there. Like I think alt I don't know, alt home. Oh, that has a special key. Alt tab. Oh right, duh. <laughs> uh, does curses see like F eight? No, it does. Not all F eight. Oh, what have I done? Oh my god. Regret. What have I done? <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Alt enter. Yeah, like here. Uh, that one's sort of right. <clears throat> I don't know, alt space? No, that's not going to be a thing. Control space doesn't get registered as anything. Anyway, you can probably make it happen. Control W? Control W probably sends the same. Uh, well, maybe it's different. Control W is already something in Babby, so you can't use that. But. Uh, tests. Oh. 
Hooray! Next title of Explains Zero Zero Zero. And yeah, I don't have auto formatters here because all of the code samples are also in this repo. Uh, okay, so that's one of the problems. And then we want to go back to bullet or to numbered list, even though there were benefits, but it looks worse. Yay, look ahead. <clears throat> Control W just kills the window. Control Shift W. That still kills the window. Yeah. Actually, now that you mention that, I'm pretty sure I've used Control Shift W in a terminal. I know I use it in like Chrome all the time and Firefox. Okay, so the other thing we want to do is is do, 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 yeah, undo this. Uh... <laughs> Zero video link. Video link. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, actually, we just revert, right? Uh -huh. Do, do, do. Get show this. Bin, update playlist, get apply, reverse, ray. <clears throat> Revert back to numbered playlist. Yes. Yes. Okay. So then after all this, we should be able to rebuild the output and it should look like the original output. And if I restart the chat bot, oh wait, I got to remove the numbers on the end. You got to remove the numbers on the end. All right. Because otherwise we'll have the numbers in both places. Maybe that's fine. No, we shouldn't have the numbers in both places. Non-capturing group. Uh, zero to nine. Plus dollar sign. Why did I do this? And I meant to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The missionist says, why is the keyboard broken in the middle? I got I got mad one day and just broke broken broken in the middle.
Currently updating my resume for my for new SRE role. Optimizing the resume takes some energy. And coding more easy. Hmm. I mean, it certainly is different. <laughs> Pregnancy, I was done before I even opened this up. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to turn on Emacs bindings. Yeah. Okay, so in theory, after all of this, I should be able to click the button. And it should fix all the, all the mistakes. Wait, this still didn't take me... Oh, right, because we updated the link as well. Right. And hopefully I haven't run out of YouTube API quota, because uh, <laughs> that happened last time we worked on this. Okay. Doing its thing. I hate that GitHub doesn't let you expand these until after it is finished. So it updated that. And then this should have updated also. And we should be back to a numbered list. With the titles looking good. Yeah. Yeah. There is one funny title in here. That... Uh, I wanted to adjust. This one works, but where's the one? There's like one where it's like bold text somehow. Yeah, this one. I wonder why the code didn't work for that. Yeah, like, why didn't these get escaped? Weird. Is looping song still a thing? It is, but we're not to it yet. The machine says, we're going to get the VODs. VODs are on YouTube. Uh, because of DMCA sadness. Uh, change it to Roman numerals? No. Yeah, I think I'd have to escape both of these characters because I don't think just escaping the stars is enough. Also, GitHub uses a slightly different markdown for their readme versus their comments. Oh, I turn off issues for this. Nice. Okay, I can do that. Okay, well then we'll do that real quick. Do 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 do. This one. Yeah, we included all these characters, but for some reason did not include. Um. Uh, also, I don't know why I wrote it like this. I could probably write it as... Um, with a fronch string. Oh, God. Fronch string backslash C for C in... Uh, underscore squack it star. Like a so. Uh, Alex Didon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. You heard front string? It's front string time. Hooray. Uh, and we should add test for it because we did the thing.
Python zero. Python zero. Escape stars as well. Ah. Usually Pipegrade would just fix it for me. Hooray! Escape stars in README as well. Bucky says, que estamos haciendo? Uh, I'm unfamiliar with the word haciendo, but I'm guessing you're asking, what are we doing? Uh, my bot does not know Spanish, so it can't tell you directly, but if you do bang today, you can find out the answer. Uh, but please speak in English so that we can properly moderate. Velocitech, well, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, we haven't even got to the chatbot part of this yet. We're still just working on the 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 data massage. Bottom massage? Bottom massage. Are you watching five minute crafts? That looks like five minute crafts. Uh oh, yeah, until they put it in cement. <laughs> uh, hit 1k92. Thank you for the Vamo Wagga Wangam. Hopefully, you're doing well. Yeah, it sounds like what are we doing, Wusa? It does. But, uh,. I have not seen that spelling of, is it Hosair? Oh. No, it is not Hosair. It is, uh, interesting. It is not, uh, um, why is it not just telling me the fucking definition? What are we seizing? <laughs> so uh, it must be an idiom because it doesn't translate very well. Yeah, I was thinking haciendo like that. That would make more sense. That would be like, what are we doing? But haciendo spelled like that means something completely different that doesn't make sense. Uh, unless it's not Spanish, but Abdi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, do 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 do. We need to click the button. This button should work now. Hooray! One thousand thirty-two workflow runs. Damn. Yeah, my bet. My bet's on spelling mistake too. Okay. Do do your thing. Committed now. All right. What did this do? Okay. Did this fuck things up? <laughs> is the question. Um. Oops. What did I just do? Oh, that one looks fine. Cool. Sick. Let's go, baby. Sweet. <laughs> Just looked it up. It's a song on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Okay, cool. So that's that part. Uh... Oh, it should just fix the the dick sword bot, but I need it to restart. Surely I can just run cargo update, right? That'll work, right? Current 
cargo. Update. That's the thing, right? Yeah. That should get it to redeploy, and then it should uh, recache the new data. And then I should be able to query from that. And then, and then we'll update the, uh... oh, you know what? We could probably just make, We could probably just make the Twitch bot hit the Discord bot. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Okay, anyway. Also, is there a better way to like cache cargo shit? Is uh. I'm currently doing none of it right now. What was the issue I wanted to do here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I'm sure there's some directory I can cache based on the cargo lock. Um... But, um, yeah, like this takes five and a half years to build. And it would be nice if it didn't. Maybe I'll figure that out another day. I don't update this very often, so it doesn't super matter. Oh, we can auto merge here. Will do. Okay, so we'll let that merge and deploy and stuff. And that should update the bot. And now we can tackle the chatbot portion of this. Uh, I am Mateen, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, oh, did I do any open source since last time? I don't think I said anything. Yeah, here's one thing. Uh, this is all today. Oh, I did this. I did this. I did these two things. And this is what we worked on on stream last time. Um, this is yet to be merged yet. Um, one workflow waiting approval. Uh, why did it not get merged? Maybe, oh, because Tyrion is required? Drugs? Anyway, there's, if, if you go to the Hashlib docs right now, there's these weird backslashes for who, who fucking knows why. <laughs> did I hear cargo? Enters toxic mode, yeah, basically. Also, I learned about this parameter here. But I was meaning to look at what it does. I don't think it's actually used. So I was trying to understand why. Why it's there. All hashlib constructors take a keyword argument used for security. The false value allows the use of insecure and blocked hashing algorithms in restricted environments. What does that mean? PyCore global objects finny generated. <laughs> oh, it generates all of the intern strings in this file. Interesting. Uh, and again? in this file and probably again in this file and probably also in this file holy shit um 
Science. Uh, of course, the anti-gravity module has a use for security. <laughs> Check in here. It is interesting that this file starts with a new line for some reason. Uh, this is weird. Why is it always used for security false? That doesn't seem like the right. The right call there, but. Ashlib helper. Where's the C code where this actually gets used? <laughs> Oops. Retry a limit in match over. <laughs> what? <laughs> we crashed the Redux engine? <laughs> um... Some file makes Babby really mad here. Uh, can I do this? Uh, coming to a video next week. The same exact pattern will be in next week's video. Uh, we can just close. Oh shit. No, we can't. The standard in is not hooked up. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, there's. That a thing? Oh, this is the thing. Okay, we can just use that instead. Uh. What? Oh, Dabby TextMate demo? Code go burr? Here we go. Found it. Uh, but let's do it like this instead. So I can actually see what file it is. The news file for 310 Alpha 1. What? Ground line 1440. Is there something weird in that?
I guess we could break point in there and see what's going on. <clears throat> okay, so I don't actually want it to print. <laughs> Just fucking comment out all the prints. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. So something in here makes something anky. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying to know. Hello, hello. How you doing? This probably will crash VS Code also. Uh, what is the line? Oh no. Oh no, it's fucking MP decimal bullshit. It's weird. It's very weird. Somewhere in here must be um some something in here must be starting with dash dash, which cause oh yeah, here we go. Um I think NPA says this is just good Python stuff. Love Python. Uh, it's sort of Python. I'm trying to figure out why this regex is fucky. What is this supposed to even match? Uh... Beginning of the line, non-capturing group dash and then escaped backslash W. Why is this? Oh, it's because it's a, okay. So dash and then a word character or dash dash and then a word character plus or slash and a word character plus and a non-capturing group, which is a optional comma optional space. Then word character plus then a star. This is ignorable. And then white space or I think this is the regex that's having trouble. Unclear though, because there's a lot in there. Uh, why does this look like a list? Oh, 
Oh, because I dirt the wrong object. Wrench set T. Ah, uh, right. Well, I can just do this and that'll give me a tuple. These are all of our things. Reminds me of Fallout 4 terminal hacking? Hmm. I right, Python and C++ for a living. This is me 80% of the time with PDB. I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing. I wonder if we just take that line. If we take this and put it in an RST file, is that enough to make it crash? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this is enough to make VS Code crash. VS Code uses a similar engine. Um. Uh, do I have code? Hey, somebody in chat, do you have VS Code? Do you want to slap this into a file and tell me what it does? Do you have VS Code? Here, stick this in a file named foo.rst. Put that, those two lines of text into a file called foo.rst in VS Code. Yeah. Restructured text. Shitty markdown. Untrusted code from the internet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And open it in VS Code. Did it try and open it in Adobe? The syntax highlighter crashed. Do you have the Python syntax highlighter? Oh, you may need the Python syntax highlighter. I don't fucking know. How you, Metal Storm and Mr. Singh? Hello, hello. Uh, I wonder if the grammar for RST is out of date. Which file? I'll just put it in the Dixord. This this is the this is the RST. Something about this being at the beginning of the line is fucked up. Uh, uh doesn't crash uh does it highlight the rest of the file like if you put another rst thing in there does it continue to render it correctly <laughs> Fuck. What does VS Code use to render RST then? Oh, this thing only has 19 stars. No wonder it's not working. I wonder if we can find that shitty regex. What did it look like? I'm pretty sure it's this one. But it is hard to tell. Uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um... We can edit the grammar in line. What is the fucking one called? Source.rst? Yeah. 
<laughs> Options list. Yeah, like if I remove this, does it? No, it's not that one. Hmm. I don't think VS Code has RST Cynic Signing been installed in its extension. Maybe there's a better one to use. This is probably from like three years ago three years ago. Version 189.3, holy fucking shit. Yeah, this one seems maybe better. Where's their syntaxes? Oh, there's a fucking language server. Wait, this is the same one that I'm using. Might just be an auto-incrementing build number? Yeah, probably. Oh, fucking A. Uh, I mean, we can just slap this contents into that file and then edit it directly. What I wanted to do, of course. Uh, <laughs> Hooray. Uh, oh, I was using the wrong babby, so it is possible that it was fine. Yeah, it's something about this regex is problematic. So what do we got here? Uh... Yeah, I think the problem is I think this triggers like a catastrophic backtracking. Um, and so if we take the line Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hooray, we found a redos. Uh Cool. Okay. Um
Where is the file that I was like? Oh, here we go. It's still going. <laughs> So I'm clear what this is actually trying to do. Ternarian says, I commit regular expressions to short-term memory only, it seems. Oh, I think they're worth learning. And following the Unity news? Yeah, but I don't write games, so I don't really care. So what is the problem with this regex? How does one fix this? I think the problem is this needs to be one-shot, but I don't remember the syntax for that. Uh, it's called like an atomic group. Uh, this thing. Uh, Python 3.12 gets them too, right? I think I have to... I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, this still is fucky. It's probably this in here. That's a repeat repeat. What if we make this an atomic group also? Yeah, that makes it match. That makes it fail immediately. I don't know what this is uh, trying to match at all. Um, Hmm. Carolis says, I am confused. Are you using Windows or Linux? Aha! Both! Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes! <laughs>
Guess we could see if we can fix this thing. <clears throat> I have the wrong No options list. Add options lists. Well, that's real fucking helpful. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. But yeah, it's the problem is that this is repeated. It's the um it's the atomic groups into oh it was eleven, three eleven. Uh, possessive quantifiers, star plus. I think that might also fix it too. But I don't know what's supposed to match. <laughs> Yeah, that also that also makes it work, but I don't know what it is supposed to be. It's supposed to match this? Oh boy. This is supposed to match a comma or a space and then another option, as many as those as it could match. Yeah, so what it's doing is finding this. It's then matching this, I think, which is not right. It's also matching slash and then not matching it here. Yeah, so this should also be this thing here. That might also fix this too, just because it wouldn't match anymore. But this also doesn't match equals, so I don't really know. Yeah, and the way this is written, the 
the way this is written, it's always going to continually match stuff. So I don't think this regex can ever match. Like, oh, it can go all the way to the end. I wonder what this file looks like on GitHub. Uh, doc. The original file name. It's not in doc, it's in disk. It looks fine here. Oh, look. Look at this asshole. It's me. <laughs> um. Yeah. I wonder how the parser works for this. In docutils. Mm. Oh, I'm not in docutils. Oh. Um. <laughs> Option list, that's what it's <laughs> Kent Jorth, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Trend list. Boy. Well, I'm just gonna fucking patch this out. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna fork this and patch it out for now. I don't know what the right answer is here. Cause I don't know if making this one shot is the right thing. Because clearly the problem is the backtracking. It's this chunk here. I think making this one shot would also fix the problem. That might be the easier fix. But it also just matches fucking nonsense then. But it always matched a nonsense. Uh... That's the easiest patch, though. It really should be these things. But it could also be any word. Yeah, this is just... This regex is just buggy. It's very buggy. Like, four different ways. Um, oh, I got super distracted. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we fixed backslashes in the CPython docs. Uh, it's updated. So I should be able to do thing now. Um, explains three three three. 
Hooray! Don't name things underscore new. <laughs> yeah, good advice past me. Stan Robot, hello, hello. Do you still have banana bread from last stream? <laughs> no. We finished it like the day after. That, that shit doesn't last long. Uh, I fixed some typing stuff for Django Stubbs. Uh, list doesn't allow the right variants here, so. Um, update this to sequence. I also fixed the base classes for this thing here. Uh, since it technically allows any types here. Uh, adjusted file lock to move typing extensions to an extra so that it didn't get pulled in. That was from last stream, though. Banana bread is so good. It is. It is. Uh, WinRag was not in the six moves rewrite. This also happened because of new pythons. Um, so added a rewrite for WinRag. I don't know why anyone would need that, but... Uh, and then regenerated and pipe upgrade. Okay, so that's that's that stuff. Uh... What's the next baking stream? Maybe a pumpkin bread one? It is pumpkin bread time. Uh... Uh, make options, list, word, projects, one shot. This prevents catastrophic backtracking using a possessive quantifier. What's it called? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. forty. When's the next baking stream? I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Tina, Tina was asking me like the day after, like, can we do another baking stream? I was like, yeah, we can do another baking stream. What? Yeah, you, you're addicted. And then now you're busy all weekend. You're busy. Yeah. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm busy Sunday evening. Busy. Glyphax says, I'm always between capitalizing and not capitalizing commit message, first sentence. I The shift key is the worst key on the keyboard. JP Zera says, just got here. What is the open source project that I'm working on? Uh, <laughs> I'm down a rabbit hole adding a single character to fix a crash in my text editor. Laplace says, is Tina your roommate? <laughs> yeah, she, only my roommate, not, nothing else. Yeah? 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 That's you? It's you, the roommate. <laughs> I'm not my roommate. <coughs> Only friends, yeah, madam. You roommate zoned, yeah. Uh... Where did I clone this? There we go. <clears throat> Does this work? Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, it's going to say it's up to date. But really, I would like my commit. <sighs> Which is this guy here. Uh, 
Uh, I gotta download all of them because otherwise it doesn't clean up the un unused ones. This shouldn't take too long. And then we'll be able to do that. Yeah. Oh, I should add chest data. Uh, oh, it used to be called text RST. Um, <laughs> Damn, I did not think about that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> XRST option list parsing. I distracted you from going on a bike ride. Go, go do it, Easy Light. Mm-hmm. Uh, issue here. Oh wait, why did this get reordered? So why is Java and CoffeeScript coming from the same repo? Uh Smirtnik, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. <clears throat> oh, I like this song. Oh, the next one. Whimper Bio. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, come on. Oh, I didn't lock my password manager. Okay, well, I get to look at my face for a sec then. Do, 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 do. Hooray! Passwords managed. Did I start, did I leave cowards versioning for this? No, I'm 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 still a coward. Do 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 famous last words, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Grab my pipe BI password here. Next. <clears throat> So fun fact, I added this prompt to Twine way back when. This was me. I did this. Uh, okay, so now if we pip install Vavi Grammar's upgrade. Now we should... What was the... Uh, except I don't want the Xargus version of this. Now I should be able to open that file that was not letting me open it before. Hooray! It probably renders the... It probably renders this stupidly. Oh no, it doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Cool. Oh right, because it doesn't match because of this period. Yeah, neat. Okay, anyway, back to what we were doing. 
Okay, it receives the parameter there and then does nothing with it. Very cool. Also does nothing for it there. Oh, here we go. Hey, GC head, this is not used. Find num keywords 12. Uh, oh, those are just the keyword arguments. Use for security is less than zero, go to exit. Oh, if it's not Boolean, it's a type error. Oh, but then it wasn't ever passed along, so we can ignore that there. Yeah, so this is just the parsing. This is not the actual code. Uh, here's where it actually gets used. For doing FIPS mode. Okay, that's what I thought it would do. Okay, cool. That was, that was fun. So many go-tos. Yeah, it's C, movie. <laughs> It's C Python C where they go to for cleanup because it's convenient or something. Okay, anyway, down that rabbit hole, we've we fixed that now. Uh, I'm gonna go fill up my water. I will be right back, but it's good to see you again, Boomy, and I will see you in a sec. All right, we're back. How you doing, Armchair General? Um, what was I doing? What were we doing? Uh, we fixed this. Oh, right, the chat bot. The whole reason that we did all this mess in the first place. Uh, all right, so there's this YouTube playlist search thing. Uh, which currently had, like, some weird-ass bug that we don't care about anymore. Uh, because we're going to re replace it with the approach that um, 
the dick sword bot uses. <laughs> We're back. Speak for yourself. I was never gone. A. Hey. True. It is me. How does this work? Populate playlist. Search playlist. Uh, I'm just not going to use that anymore. Uh, await underscore message. Um, Uh, we can get rid of the view. <coughs> Populate playlists. Search playlist. Uh, playlist name. And then, yeah. Okay, so let's see what we do in the dick sort bot. Uh, create vert. Uh, which has playlist. URL and title. If not exists, oh, we probably have to drop that table. Well, we can just call it YouTube videos too. <coughs> yeah, that's that's what we'll do. Cool. Uh, <laughs> populate playlist. We can actually probably just do drop table. Is there a drop table if exists? Drop table if exists. Seek light. Hello. Drop table of exists. Okay, cool. Yeah, something like that. There's a Roman numerals joke in there, but why? I'm tr Python object-oriented programming seminar, but the acronym was unpopular. I wonder why. I wonder why. Which playlist? Uh, I will need this. Of uh, uh, what did I just delete? Uh. <laughs> oh, uh. No, it's AOHCP. That's what I was looking for. Async with AOHP.client session. Uh, 
resp. <clears throat> okay, so then we gotta get the videos out of that. You still need to have a tour in the table? I don't. Uh, we don't need you either. Oh, but we just jam these into the database, don't we? Yeah, so we'll just do it like this. It'll just match the database schema. Title stir. Uh, no, URL stir and then title stir. We have that untrusted, but I just get rid of the playlist ID, which is fine, I think. Didn't really like the playlist ID being in there. Anyway, this makes the message shorter. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Videos equals YouTube. YouTube video. Playlist, playlist name, video URL, video title. Probably even do star star video. Or playlist in resp playlists. Or video in playlist videos. Okay. So then we want to do select playlist, the URL title from YouTube videos where playlist equals this and title match order by rank. Mm -hmm. And that should work. This should all be the same. Alish ID is not found. Oh. How does this work in the Roost version? Um, Silly Laird is here. Good to see you again. Just me or does Python async code look weird? Eh, it's not that great. The reason you can concatenate SQL strings instead of using triple coded strings? I don't really like the look of triple coded strings and parameters. Lynch, hello, hello. How you doing? How does it get the playlist? Oh, I bet it just doesn't. I bet we just don't link the playlist. Yeah, we just don't link the playlist. <laughs> it just says no videos found. Hmm. 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 Uh huh.
Yeah, maybe we do this. Let's stick the playlist info into the database too. Oh, you know what? We can do this a different way. Okay, so that gets us our videos and our playlists. Let's be dot dot dot. Um, playlists equals. Uh, How does this get formatted? <laughs> e Sort of. Maybe we just do playlist ID. Yeah. Cliff Hack says, I did not know Nano has support for diagnostic messages. Uh, well, funny thing about that. It doesn't. But this is not Nano. Uh -huh. Wait outside. Hold on. Oh look, now we don't need an OQA okay there. Line too long. Videos is not defined. can go back to being this. Aditya VD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. And yeah, we got there, Amateur General. Exit it says, oh, lol. Oh, great. What is this? Oh. Yeah. Jur has no attribute chat message. Is this unpack is wrong.
I realize this is this matches the data up here, but oh, but then this shadows a built in. Got stir expected. What do you mean, incompatible type? Built-ins tuple, built-ins stir, built-ins stir, fallback equals this. Yeah, that seems right. Oh, I see what's happening. I'm, uh, I'm shadowing my parameter. Mm -hmm. Do that. Protein has no attribute right to await. Misty is nuts. Oh my god, it has been so long. Spe speaking of Misty's nuts, I missed you. It's been holy shit. When was the last time you were here? Oh, earlier this month. Wait, no, wait, no, that's not right. Can't be right. Yeah, twenty twenty two. It's been almost a year. I was thinking about you the other day. I was like, huh? It's been a while since I've seen Misty's nuts. I I miss Misty's nuts. But welcome back. It's good to good good to have you again. Your life developments that make sense. Uh, I mean, life is way more important than uh than than my stream, of course. All right, so it passes typing now. We can do a little a little gamble. Uh, will the Explains command work. Yes, no. I'll give you a minute. I'm gonna not restart the bot. I'm just gonna run the terminal version of it. Smiley, hello, hello. How you doing? Good to see you again. Well, how you been, Miss These Nuts? The other person that I haven't seen in a while is Tube Worm. I don't know what I don't know what they're up to. but I miss them too. Do I want to know a secret? A very secret secret? Yeah, I'm down, I'm down for a secret look at a chat plot. Yeah, there's a, oh, it doesn't have today, but 
Yeah, active in 2022, and then, and then, and then. Maybe they're the same person. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if, uh. He's nuts. What? It is Tube Worm? Yes! Tube Worm is not gone! Oh my goodness. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day! Exonity, hello, hello, good to see you again. What was the type issue a minute ago? It was probably an await. Uh, the other one was I was reassigning my parameter. Two friends for the price of one! Oh, it's a good day. Two, two form exists. <laughs> These nuts exists. Oh, I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Okay. All right, let's see if it still works. Python 3 bot test. Explain 333. Ah, of course it works. Fucking A. Attempt to decode JSON with unexpected mime type. Oh, does does GitHub not serve this as JSON? Fuck. Wait, why is there a meta tag? Oh, is it playlist.json? Oh, it also has to be explained slash this. God fucking damn it. 69% <laughs> said no. I'm so sorry, strange sorcerer. R.I.P. your points. Damn. Okay, well, we can do another one. Uh, I've finally been diagnosed with ADHD, got some medicinal meth, and life got much better. It, it does. It really does. Uh... I, I took a break from my medicinal meth for like almost a decade, but then when I moved back to Michigan, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and fix some things in my life and got back on my medicinal meth and it's been great. It's been, it's been great ever since. Uh, yeah, we'll do the same prediction again. We'll give you another minute on this one now that I have fixed the typo. Surely it'll work this time, haha. <laughs> Smile. Um, I don't know what Kevin's up to today. We got a lot of yeses on this one. Wusa put in a bunch of points. Hassan's going to win big if it doesn't work. <laughs> 1 to 40 is the current ratio. Holy shit. Then slapped in ten points on no. Oh, we got a we got Beldathas with a bunch of points on no. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> uh, I'm not gonna lie, chat. The regex problem we found earlier today, I think, is maybe the first time I have ever seen a redos that actually matters. <laughs> Um, yeah. Finally in a country when I can indulge in Twitch gambling? Hey, there we go. You come back and predict no. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. All right, let's see. It never works the first 10 times with async in Python? I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this one. Look at how fast that was, too. It used to be so slow. Uh, if we say Gil? Yo? Yo? Let's go. So if we say... Beginner. 262 other videos. See playlist. Look at that shit. Heck and heck. <laughs> you've, been, you've been bamboozled. <laughs> It's okay, you only lost 1k points build out this, and I feel like whoever whoever else bet no. Will the explain span work? Yes! Complete prediction. Okay, so 
Now I gotta do some secret stuff. Oh wait, we can kind of do this in a different way. YouTube playlist search. What did it steal from config? It doesn't, I don't think it uses config at all now. <clears throat> yeah, we don't need config at all. <coughs> so we can get rid of the, oh wait, these always take config, don't they? They always take config. Yeah, but they just don't need to pass it on. Right. Right. Um, X Mateo Z Z Z Z. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. These don't need config anymore. Config. Uh, blurp, blurp, blurp. Here we go. Um. <clears throat> From 8.6k to 10k points, nice. Uh, a friend of mine just got diagnosed with ADHD with 30, and I see multiple similarities to me. But maybe get an appointment to talk to some professional. Yeah, worth doing. Sean says, will throwing my laptop out the window help with my studies? I'm gonna predict no. Et says, I was trying to make my first contribution to open source. I expressed interest in an issue and asked clarifying questions. And so I was going to work on it last week. I did not have time to do it, but someone else created a PR without asking me. God. Oh, I hate when that happens. It happens sometimes. That's um, yeah. Sometimes it just happens. Um, that's unfortunate. It's happened to me before too. What's really annoying is when you make a PR and then the, the maintainer just like makes their own version of it, closes yours, doesn't attribute it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been there. I've, I've walked that road before. Do that. I'm online now. So what all changed in this file? Added the playlist, rearranged that stuff. Oh, I bet explains is broken in chat right now because it fucked up the database. But yeah, just don't use the explains command right now. <laughs> and as soon as I restart the bot, it'll be fine. <coughs> yeah. Um, but this YouTube stuff can all go away now. This can all go away. Cool. Any advice on how I should respond? Should I just ignore the PR? It's not a maintainer, it's just a random person. Uh, well, if you, mm, yeah, it's tricky. Uh, I would maybe move on to another issue. You could, like, if their PR is wrong, it might make sense to make a new one that's better. But probably best to just move on to something else, unfortunately. All right, you need to look at my face while I fuck up the config. To no longer have these creds in it. So now I can't leak those creds because they don't exist anymore. And then I'm going to restart the bot. Uh, so now the new explains command should be super speedy. Look at that, fancy. Bot uh, plugins, YouTube. Uh, change. Planes and FAQ to use the new uh, preloaded JSON. Yeah, that one, that one good enough. What's this bear plushie behind carpet? That is toast. What a Tina? Oh, toast is up on some. 
It's toast? I don't, it's fair? Is that toast? Toast appeared one day. Um. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. He's not says I haven't considered ADHD a possibility. Then I downloaded the questionnaire thing. Uh, did check quite a lot of the boxes. Yeah. Madra Kaiser says I see no soy allowed kind of stream. What the fuck does that mean? I have a Pikachu. Yeah. I have I have the the Squishmallows Pikachu. He's shaped like friend. What do you have snacks? Lucky you bring me. I have the I have the best roommate. My roommate brings me snacks. Please look at these snacks. Fat Pikachu, yeah. Did it? I think a shrimp might have fried this rice. Now for some autism diagnosis, gonna catch all the Pokemon. It's always a possibility. All right, so I'm gonna rebase this. Uh, Ash dot Pokemon. Sweet. All right, so that's all simplified up. Are these new or have they been blind? Um, the Pikachu over there is the newest. That little guy. This little, this little guy here. Oh, this is the 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 rice the the that the shrimp fried. That guy's the newest. Um, Org. Org right here is the sort of ish newest. He has been there for a real long time. What's oh, that's my. But yeah, no, these these are all Tina editions. Um, yeah, they've been there for a while. Okay. Right. The next thing that I'm going to do is really to Pokemon. Um, which means I'm going to boot my Switch and do some stuff, and we're going to do some image processing. Um, I'll explain the problem better after I finish my food, but I'm gonna eat real quick. If that's okay. Um, but basically, what I'm trying to do is do some date skipping to get a particular outbreak of Pokemon so that I can get it shiny. And I've written a script that does the date skipping. But it's not very good at knowing whether it has found an outbreak or not. And so I'll show you the current version of it. Well, actually, I can do that already. Um, the current version of it just finds a selection of already seen images and checks against that. But the problem is. The problem is that there's a lot of duplication here. Um, yeah, so you can see this is the little pixel section that it's looking for here. Belladonna says gifted a sent to Pokemane. Oh no. Well, Pokemane, here's here's your button. Button button for Pokemane. There you go. You're you're welcome. Um, so I'm looking at this little chunk of area on the map, but sometimes it can spawn raids here, and those can be any sort of type. Uh, and sometimes, yeah, they can spawn in like these five places in this particular one. Um, sometimes it'll spawn outbreaks, which is what I'm actually looking for. Oh, you didn't give it to the, the, the bot though. You give it to me or my sub. You need to sub the bot to Pokemon. That's how you get it. Uh, but anyway, these can be each of the, however many types, there's an actual outbreak. Um, and sometimes they can be six star raids, which are these dark color and they have like this animation shine around them. Um, and so this is the old version. 
the old version just like records every one that you've seen and you have to answer yes or no whenever it appears. But this takes forever and it's really annoying. Um, the newer version uh, keeps a single background and then anytime there's a difference between them, so like, this is one where there was a difference. See how the, there is actually an outbreak here and this is actually the outbreak I was looking for. So that's why it stopped there. But uh, Simu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Whenever it sees a difference, it asks if this difference is important. And if it's not, it just blacks out all the pixels there. Which is pretty good. Except that this um, thing can show up in the black dot pixels. Exit says, I'm confused. I cloned Babby, built it, and control backspace triggers search. Are you sure that's not control backslash? Because backslash should be search and replace. Unless control backspace is sending control W, which is possible. Oh, weird. What does key debug give you? Um, but anyway, this this is basically using a threshold of zero. And I think my idea to make this better is to only black out pixels if the pixel difference is a very, very high number. Uh, and then ignore differences that are below some threshold. And I'm going to try and play with that and see if it does anything. It doesn't happen on your own, Fabi. Weird. Is it a different version? Are they up to date? Very strange. Um, but yeah, the problem is even though there's like a hexagon in here, it like dithers all the pixels around it with like some shading thing. And so you get this like artifacting and there's always like one or two pixels that are different even as it rotates through. And so this isn't very good at eliminating duplicates. And it's also good at uh, eliminating the actual pixels I care about. Oh, it's um... It's this hidden flag. So we're gonna try and make this better. Um, hello. What's up? Um, you can eat the rest of it. I do want more snack, but I also would like to write some code. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm internally conflicted. Yeah. Oh, Kings, wasn't it going to be alt backspace, not control backspace? Because uh, control backspace just as a single character. But alt backspace is the word one. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I need to start my. And I need to add this. Oh, wrong scene. This scene. Okay, so I'm going to get to a particular part in the map and show you how this works, and then we're going to try and automate it. Yeah. Uh, make this big for a sec. Yeah, we'll just ignore the power I have right now. Light spoilers, we're going to be in the DLC. Uh, we're going to try and make the... Um, oh. We don't need that. Tom, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> okay, so I need to position myself kind of near this house over here because that's where the Pokemon I'm looking for spawns. 
It's super laggy. Oh my god. I might... I might save and reset because that fixes the lag sometimes. <clears throat> I'm pressing control backspace and it acts like X17. Huh. Some keyboards will do that. Uh, like, what does mine do? Uh, control backspace. Mine just sends key to bug, whereas it's diff d distinct from control W. Um, but I want to say, uh, I want to say, oh, weird. Yeah, it's different here too. Anyway, I don't know. I can't control DN Windows. New Pokemon on Switch, so performant, no memory leaks, we promise. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I need to make a picnic. I need to make a sandwich. It's part of the method, <laughs> unfortunately. I have found also that staring straight at the ground makes this lag less. So we're going to be doing that as well. Uh, I need to make sandwich 45. Yeah. Don't mind me. Just play, play a little Pokemon for a sec. This is, this is, this is important. I promise. Uh, plop that on there and there and there. The sandwiches are hilariously broken in this game, which is why we're using them. Uh, Adrian Dunt, JS, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. You don't need the top of the sandwich, so we throw it away. Uh, and that should be it. <clears throat> and then I'll show you I'll show you a manual date skip and then we'll we'll do the automation part. Q Ringer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Imagine I get it on the manual skip. That would be so sad. Uh, also they they broke this in the latest update. Uh requiring a bunch more key presses, which is also why I'm automating this, because I would prefer not to press all the keys that I need to press to make this work. But Okay, so we're going to leave this picnic. We're gonna stare straight at the ground. I'm gonna open up the map. I'm gonna zoom out. Yeah, I'm gonna actually move to the left a little. I think I'm too close to the, the thing. I don't want my little character animation to show up in that corner that I'm looking at. Yeah, okay, so I'm here. I date skip real quick. And it doesn't really matter what I do as long as I change the date. Uh, these will refresh, but it doesn't actually refresh the outbreaks always. Uh, so I have to close and reopen the map and then resume and then check for the outbreaks. That's basically the the um, the procedure here. And so we're going to try and make that better with image recognition. Uh, change grip order. So we're going to plug in my microcontroller. Shun, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. The messiah of Python. Uh... I don't I don't think I can save Python. <laughs> you, be, you be honest there. <coughs> I I think I think Python is uh going to have its problems independent of what I'm doing. Okay, so I have this file called r2.py and I've been slowly building this. Um this is what I want to change. I want to change the threshold here. Um but I'm going to try and write out I'm going to try and write out two images, and then we'll play with it outside of the script so that we can iterate on it faster. But let me press some buttons using the terminal. Uh, and, oh, I forgot to connect the webcam. Let's try that again. Okay, so it should ask me to draw a box. I'm pretty sure it can only spawn 
in this area here. We're going to select that area, and now it's going to do the first date scope. And uh, the reason this screen doesn't update while it's moving is so that the button presses are precise, and I just didn't bother with like multi-processing or multi-threading. Yeah, so you can see we got an outbreak here. Um, so I'm going to say that it's... I, I'm calling things that don't have an outbreak clean, so I'm going to say no here. I want to get one that doesn't have an outbreak, and that'll be the background that we reference against. At least that's the plan. <clears throat> okay, so this one looks like it'll probably be clean. Okay, so we can say yes here. And now the next one that it spits out should be one that we can start iterating on from the image processing perspective. In theory. Yeah, in fact, this is a perfect one because it has it has a raid in there. Oh, it also beeps at me. Okay, so I should have gotten... Uh... Should have gotten a candidate and the original one. Perfect. Okay, so this is good. This is what I want to see. All right, so I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to put this on the home screen so it doesn't uh, tick down the timer. And then we will write a little script for this. Miles from the woods, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, I've already started with this. Uh, Clean.png and hand.png. Uh, and I have been doing this a uh, little trick recently. Uh, 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 yeah. Frame equals crop. Uh, oh, this modifies this. Okay. Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Um, oh, I didn't update the little thing to just display the frame. Okay, so this is what the current code does. Uh, mm, uh, wait, what did I just fuck up here? What did this say before? Oh, Rain, I can't fucking spell. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is how the code currently works. There's like a big difference in these character in these pixels here, so it blanks out all of those. Is not great. Uh Malaysia, which I probably said wrong, says been watching your explains videos on YouTube. Just want to say thanks. They're great. I'm glad you appreciate them. Um, okay, cool. So this gives us something. Oh, I was right. Okay, cool. Um, this gives us something to iterate on. Let's try my first idea, which is to change this to something like 20. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it probably needs to be higher than 20 or lower than 20. Good to know. Let's try 10. Yeah, that's probably better. And so then an image would be the same if we blank these out and then the differences are all less than 10. Because this blanks out significantly less. Let's actually go a little bit higher than 10. 
say 15. Chosen, chosen by a random dice roll. I'm surprised that the like pixels around this don't get changed that much. But maybe that's fine. And as it does more of these, it'll get more and more difference here. Hmm. Arrow bounce. Thank you for the reset. Bed twenty two months. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for sticking around all this time. My my AOC friend. Uh, let's set it at twelve. I like that a little bit better. Okay, let's say it's 12. So then how do we adjust our script for that? We set that to 12, that should still update our mask. Uh, we need to adjust this. Mm, diff equals cb2.abs diff. Oh, we can actually already do this here. Um, uh, then we can do this up here as well. So if we see a mask that's different to Press B to make the screen not go to sleep. Uh, Seem to remember count non-zero returns like something fucking weird. Like I feel like it returns. If not any mask, then we've already seen it. But instead we want to do, oh no, this is right. We see any big different pixels. Then this will be, we'll have values. I've also realized that mask can just be, uh, a numpy array that we continually update rather than doing a list. The list works though, so I don't want to change too many things at once. All right, we're going to try this version of it, see what it does. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to select a chunk like so. And then we'll see what it does. And we can uh, squiggle this back and forth. If I zoom in and then switch between the two, no, it doesn't do it. Okay, this is clean, yep. We'll see what the next one does. And the goal is to eventually find little, little dragon boys. This should actually, yeah, already seen, because it should be exactly the same. Those look those look identical. So it's already kind of working. Oh, what the fuck was that? Um. <laughs> it fucked up. <laughs> it lagged. Uh. There is actually an outbreak there. Um, 
That is cutie fly. But sometimes the switch drops inputs, especially in this shitty game. We're gonna say it's not clean. <laughs> this is the image that it took, this little chunk of grass here. And I could fix that by adding some like state management, but I wanna focus on the image processing and not the game being shitty. Because this one should just skip because it doesn't have anything. We have blanked out no pixels yet because we haven't seen any rates without outbreaks. It's just uh, some, some hurry up and wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is clean. We see this difference. So now it should ignore those pixels in the top right-ish, in theory. Okay, cool. We've uh, blotted out that chunk. Next time somebody complains about performance, they say it's for bot protection. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the game just like drops inputs. It's just, it's really bad. Okay. This is the difference now. <laughs> That's going to blot out a good chunk of that bottom corner. It's clean. So we'll say, yeah. Let's see what the next one looks like. <laughs> it should, most of these pixels are just going to be gone. But the dream is that if one of the raids shows up in the top left, got no raids this time. Yeah. We are running out of pixels here. <laughs> uh, hmm. I like how the reflections doesn't work at all or sometimes just wrong. Yeah. Okay, here's another one where we got a raid. And it doesn't have any outbreaks, so we can say yes. So now we've lost those pixels. <laughs> it's a really tiny area for a ray to show up in, so I've or an outbreak to show up in, so I'm not sure this is gonna work. <coughs> okay, is it gonna skip this one? No. So it saw Oh yeah, you can see the like pink pixels in the bottom there. Um, but hopefully it should improve the training so that next time it ignores those pixels. Maybe. I could probably also, what is it called? Um, what is the word? There's a thing for like, uh, filling in pixels in, in rough structures. Oh God, there's just a raid right there. There's so many, oh, this is gonna ruin the script. It's clean, yeah. We're just gonna lose, <laughs> everything's gonna be black pixels. This idea might not work for this corner. Oh, that's so frustrating. This is gonna take forever to get one then. Yeah, that's rough. Um, but, oh, what was the last one? I didn't even see it. I blank slate. Oh, yeah, it's blank. Oh, there's an outbreak there, so we'll answer no to this next prompt. Cool. But it still is able to detect it, so that's pretty good, I guess. Raphael, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, should skip that one. Cool. But this is a decent hit rate. Five, five of fourteen. Mister Metabytes. <laughs> right before four years old. Yeah, that, that's about right. Thank you for the reset in forty-four months. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. And appreciate your continued support. Looks like there's a little pink pixel right below the top here, so that should uh, 
ignore that hopefully next time. I just want to see it work. It hasn't worked yet, which is a little concerning. Erosion and dilation, I think that's the terms are called, if I remember correctly. Which I think CV2 refers to as morphology close. Something like that. Which I could do to make these uh, the fuzzy pixels better. Should just skip. Uh, I'm doing well adjacent. The standard deviation is less than ideal. Oh no. I'm doing I do fairly well. I was sick, but I've I'm I'm feeling better now, mostly. Still coughing occasionally, but are you building a house? You're doing your best. You're trying. You building a pool with no ladder? He's playing The Sims. Uh, the one nice thing about the DLC area doesn't seem to spawn the the uh, event raids, so this does work a little bit better for that. Uh, but we eliminated another pixel here. Okay. Does it ignore that raid? No, it doesn't. Tam. Yeah, because you can see it in the top right there. But hopefully those pixels will get blotted out next. Want to predict that pool with no ladder could only be the Sims? Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's playing the Sims. Okay, let's get that one. Um, but my old script, my old version of this script, uh, I used this to find a really, really rare raid. It took like 3,000 resets to get it. Um, so I'm hoping that this raid is possible. I don't actually know. That should get skipped also. And yeah, the reason that the map closes and reopens is because something about the update makes it not always show the outbreaks on the map. And so refreshing the map seems to make them appear. They can also show up but be like two pixels wide, which is is a fun one. I've had that happen to me a few times now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I guess, just working now. Um, I think this idea is good in theory, but I don't know that this implementation works all that well. This is working fairly well because it's a small area, but I think in larger areas it's gonna... Like it'll eventually fill this as a hexagon. Or at least all, like all three of these will get filled with hexagons. Bestagons. But it's gonna be slow to get to that. Yeah, like this one, we don't even see the pixels there. <clears throat> now we wait. Uh, what can I do while we're waiting? Mm. Uh, No. I could work on the... I don't think I have enough time to do that. Also, I am abandoning this library, so I'm probably going to close this PR. I only use it at work, and uh, I'm porting this over to Time Machine. Oh. Wait, speaking of Time Machine... Oh, I must have made that pull request on my other account. <clears throat> time Machine is by our friend Adam. Oh, this one. I hate that this shows up first, when <laughs> clearly this is what I want. Oh, Adam hasn't reviewed my PR yet. Damn. 
Uh, tangential, I found amusing that when I started watching, you were in Pacific and I was Eastern, and I'd missed your streams because it's too late for me. Now I'm Pacific and I'm in Eastern. <laughs> I missed streams because it's not late enough. That's funny. Okay, does it skip this one? Please, please, please. Damn. Really? What's different about these two? Uh... <clears throat> Hopefully it should get better over time. But anyway, yeah. Uh Adam has not reviewed this yet. Which is fine, I guess. Um But Time Machine does a very sketchy, terrible thing that works really well. Uh which is that it steals the pointers to the underlying functions in the the actual method structures and then monkey badges them. Hooray! <clears throat> Const, what's that? Uh, there's a brief Goldilocks window where ADVC streams were just right, and I definitely took it for granted. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is interesting how much like start time impacts the people that show up to streams and stuff. Uh, like definitely when I streamed in um, in Pacific time, is it gonna work? Oh yeah, already seen. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, I already hate it. No more context needed. Yeah. 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 Um, but I'm adding timed up monotonic, but in a broken way. Because technically, monotonic clocks are separate from your normal clock. And they'll report different time. Um, but I felt it was easiest to just reassign the monotonic clock to the timed up time clock. Because it will act monotonically, in theory during the test where it's frozen um but yeah it is it is a an interesting one but our our test suite depends on this heavily so well not heavily it's in like 10 places but uh it says if you start at zero or one CEST, I most normally sleep. Hey, Kexa says implementing backward is harder than I expected. Oh, the actual text modification part. Yeah, uh, you could. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say you can implement it as the um the back movement, but it's a little bit different. Snipe Bunny, hello, hello. Uh, really, what's different here? There must be like one or two pixels here. Uh, that looks clean though, but yes. I was gonna ask if this liar is for test setup or if you had some other nightmarish time sensor requirement. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just, uh, it's tests. It's tests. Um. Yeah, it it uh it freezes time. And the main reason why this library is beneficial over the other one is uh what um what freeze gun does is it loops through every module in sysdot modules and checks for imported symbols and it takes a really fucking long time. Um but yeah. I remember Pacific time pre fun employed streams were super duper late. Oh yeah. Yeah, Eastern definitely made those better. He's trying to combine control F with backspace. Yeah, that won't quite work because of the new lines. But, uh, yeah. So this avoids like doing a whole bunch of uh, really slow patching and unpatching. And in our test suite, we have thousands of modules. And so the time is somewhat significant there. Um, so this, this hopefully alleviates some of those problems. I kind of want to just turn on the fake time globally, but I don't quite know if that's going to work or not. Um, I haven't seen, oh, have we seen this work? Yeah, we saw it for that fairy raid in the bottom right corner. 
but we haven't seen it since then. Um, um, yeah, well, I don't know. This is probably not that interesting content, so I can, <laughs> what else can I? Metamite says, have I ever showed you a story about discovering Freeze Gun originally? TLDR is senior engineering tech lead, hard coded his birthday into a time sensitive test, then every year when it failed, updated the test. This kept it hidden until he left the company. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm pretty sure I've put my birthday in a bunch of uh, tests before, but in a way where like it froze the time to my birthday, so it, that test always runs on my birthday. Uh. Okay, that one worked. We'll say it's working. Um, but yeah, that's that's this idea. This is I'm concerned about all of this down here cuz the Pokémon should spawn like right here. So I might get unlucky with this. I'm going to let it run. But I think that's going to that's going to wrap us up for today. He updated the test subtly in an unrelated PR. Oh my god. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, XX Pyro says, I saw your comment on YouTube that you don't read programming books. Do you learn more from docs and experimentation? Uh, I don't often read docs either. Like a lot of times they're wrong. Sometimes they're helpful. But most of the time it's just like banging my head against error messages until it works. And I find that that enforces how things work better than works works better than um than the documentation usually does but oh <laughs> mono repo so everyone's ci broke <laughs> what a mess okay anyway that's probably gonna wrap this up for today my name is anthony i upload educational content to my youtube channel at youtube.com slash anthony writes code so check out those videos and thank you board spaces for the follow uh, I normally stream on Monday evenings and Saturday at noon. I announce my stream on the Discord, which you are free to join and come hang out with us. Thank you, Beldathus, for those links. Uh, and I upload my VODs to YouTube, so if you missed the stream, you can catch up there. Uh, but stop by the Discord, come hang out with us. Uh, fun little programming Discord, and there's a bunch of other fun social channels as well. Um, but yeah, thank you all for stopping by, and let's go find someone to raid. <laughs>